Welcome to Tuesday Cafe. I'm Sean Canan, and we are broadcasting live on August 15th from the studios of WMNF in Tampa. Today on the show, we're going to talk about a couple of things. One is shocking, a shocking police raid in 2014 and how it led to the review of the city of Tampa's SWAT procedures and a settlement for the family of a man who was killed by police. And joining us later in the show to talk about this and a range of other police issues will be Justin Garcia. He's the Tampa Bay Times state and local accountability reporter. So I hope you stay tuned for that. And we're going to kick off the show by speaking with the director of a new documentary about how the middle class in America has been pushed to the edge and how to fight back against it. The documentary is called Americond, and there's a screening tomorrow night in downtown St. Petersburg at Greenlight Cinemas. Joining me now is Sean Claffey, the director and producer of Americond. Welcome to Tuesday Cafe, Sean. Thank you so much for having me. I'm really glad you could come on to talk about this documentary when we're going to hear the trailer for the film in just a few minutes. But first, why don't you set up this issue? What can you say about how policies in the U.S. have impacted the middle and working classes? Well, basically, we've, we've seen an up upward redistribution redistribution of wealth of $50 trillion over the last 45 years. Um, so we've seen the working class and the middle class having their wealth extracted and it going to really the, the, the 1%. Um, and really it's the 0.01%. Um, and then we've seen productivity rise through the same time period. Um, and while we see uh, wages uh, nationally stagnant, but in rural America, we've seen uh, the wages cut in half since 1975. And that's really been very bad for a lot of Americans. So the idea that uh, ra uh, raising the, sh the sea to raise some ships, the most wealthy ships, doesn't help the rest of us. It actually, you're, you're mentioning some ideas of where uh, the rest of us are kind of burdening, bearing the burden for the, the wealthy getting super wealthy. Yes, and, and people are working more than they've ever worked before. You know, we used to have a, a country where, you know, you could ha one person could work in the family, um, they could own a house, they could have a pension, they could have a car, and they could have vacations. And now, you know, the, the caveat to that is not, that, that did not include everyone, certainly. But, um, you know, after the New Deal, we were able to build this amazing middle class through different uh, government policies and regulations. And now we've we've seen a systematic erosion of those um, of those regulations so that the, you know, teachers, um, you know, 80, 80, 75, 80 percent of Americans are not making it even though they're working, you know, full time every day, uh, multiple jobs. And at the end of the week, they're they're not making. That's the voice of Sean Claffey, the director and producer of a new documentary called Americond. And it's about the middle class in America being pushed to the edge and how to fight back against it. You're listening to Tuesday Cafe. I'm Sean Canan, and we're broadcasting from the studios of WMNF in Tampa. So let's listen now to the trailer of the film Americond. And after the trailer, we'll be back to talk more with Sean Claffey, the director. You're listening to Tuesday Cafe. We're on our way to show some solidarity uh, with the union. Yo, bro, you work for Amazon? You going to vote for that union? There just won't be enough jobs to give all Americans a decent livable wage. I want my kids to grow up in a society where they don't have to struggle as hard as we do. That's what we need to fight for. I mean, our middle class is, you know, I don't want to say it's gone, but it erodes every single day. You think they're going to build any affordable housing here? Oh, hell no. I don't want to work any jobs, nights, weekends. I want a life. The trick and trickle down economics is getting you to believe that anything which is good for rich people is good for everyone. And anything that is good for everyone else will kill the economy. A union agitate. If they're not going to take care of their employees, somebody has to. They don't invest in us. They don't show us the resources. It's just not sustainable. The, the system is going to collapse. We got to take care of ourselves. We 
can't rely on the government, and we damn still can't rely on the one percent class. This is union busting one on one. They're gonna spend millions of dollars just stopping that. The voting wrapping up now. Employees are waiting on results. If successful, it could spark a labor movement across the country. Look at everyone out here suffering. What are you doing for us? Our job as Americans is to fight to save this country. We need bold actions, organizing. We can't allow ourselves to be divided. It's really time to rise and fight. I need all of y'all. Are you going to get in the streets and do something? You can handle the responsibility of being a leader. Say it with your chest. <laughs> well, that is the trailer of the new film, Americond. And here on Tuesday Cafe, we're speaking with the director, Sean Claffey. So, Sean, why the title Americond? Well, uh, one of our um, uh, experts, uh, Nick Hanauer, who's actually, uh, um, uh, he's a billionaire, Um and he said, uh, people have to wake up and realize in America that they've been bullied and conned. So we kind of used, you know, and just uh, melded those words together. And one of the voices that we heard in that, uh, the, the preview there has to do with uh, what happened at an Amazon workplace in a, like a warehouse in Staten Island, where uh, a, a worker there organized some of his co-workers and then soon after that workout that that uh, organization that that demonstration that they did what happened to that worker yeah so that was chris malls who we've been following for the last three years and he initially just wanted to get his uh his people um uh masks and gloves and you know here amazon is sending out you know making billions of dollars a day. Um, in fact, Jeff Bezos made $13 billion in one day during that time period. Um, and they wouldn't give the mass. So they walked out, uh, they fired Chris, and then he eventually um, created the, the biggest uh, new union movement in, in about 75 years. It's the biggest independent uh, unionization um, of one of the warehouses, about 8,000 employees. Um, and that now they're fighting for a contract um, for better benefits and better working conditions because basically they can't go to the bathroom. Uh, every every second you're not moving toward a goal, you're, it, the time is deducted. And once you hit 31 minutes or so, uh, you can be fired by AI um, on a text message and then you, you're done. And that's not the way America sh should be or treat hardworking Americans. Since this union, since this union movement by Amazon workers, we've seen uh, workers at Starbucks rising up to form unions. We are seeing right now the actors on strike, actors and writers on strike, and uh, the Teamsters and UPS went to battle, and it looked like there was going to be a major strike of Teamster workers at the beginning of this month. But because of that pressure, it seems that the, uh, the UPS essentially gave in to a lot of the demands of the workers. So um, part of what your film is about about is about people fighting back and getting their rights back. Yeah. I mean, and if you look at, at Chris Smalls in particular, it was basically seven of them who stood up. All right. And they had no money. They literally had like 50 bucks and they they spent seven you know seven days a week 24 hours a day working all shifts uh trying to sign people up and this group of seven people that you know it, it expanded to more people but in the beginning um who was able to organize against the richest man in the world at the time jeff bezos who spent 25 million dollars uh trying to stop them so if we come together and whether it's a union organization or a grassroots organization we, you know, in a democracy, we can stand up and we can we can fight for our rights and fight to, to bring the path of the middle class back. There, there's no one, no matter what your political orientation, that doesn't believe that if you work hard and play by the rules that you should be able to ascend into the middle class. 
Our guest is Sean Claffey, the director and producer of a new documentary called Americon about the middle class in America being pushed to the edge and how to fight back against it. You're listening to Tuesday Cafe. I'm Sean Canan. We're broadcasting from the studios of WMNF in Tampa. One of the segments in your film shows Congress debating a minimum wage hike and People of all or all across the political spectrum are warning that raising wages kills jobs. Uh, but you break that down. What is what's the 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 truth to that statement? Well, let, let, let's let's think about it um, with common sense. If nobody has any money, as Nick Hanover says, who's going to buy this stuff? We saw in Seattle that uh, they raised the minimum wage. And they said all the all the restaurants were going to go out of business. Well, it, as it turns out, more restaurants opened because the people that were making more money could actually go out to eat, right? So, um, raising wages doesn't kill jobs. It's that is just their knee jerk reaction. If we track minimum wage against productivity, and you know corporate uh, CEO salaries, you know. It should, from 1975, it should be about $23, $24 an hour. Um, who can survive on $7.25 an hour, which is the current federal minimum wage? Um, and, you know, they'll, they'll fight you if you wanted to raise it five cents or or $20. So you might as well go big uh, when, when pushing for it. Um, and these big companies, they have, should have, they have no problem paying these wages. Um, you know, they're, they're multi-billion dollar or trillion dollar valuations and the, they have their people on, you know, uh, on government assistance. So we're subsidizing them. So they're not paying their people enough to live. So we subsidize them. And it's that's really socialism for, for the rich. And the corporations have used their power to influence uh, government policy. Give us an example of, of how that's happened. Well, uh, obviously, the the, uh, the lobbyists. Um, I think Bezos now has uh, it's thousands of of lobbyists. I don't want to mis misquote it. Um, so, you know, a couple hundred uh, per per uh, legislator, um, and then they also they they go after the Supreme Court through the federal federal society. To nominate judges that will um, strike down laws that will uh, help the middle and working class, because um, they really only care about their their mega donors. Well, I want to thank you very much for coming on Tuesday Cafe, Sean. Thank you so much for having me. Sean Claffey is the director and a producer of Americond, and there's a screening tomorrow night, Wednesday, August 16th, in St. Petersburg at Greenlight Cinema in downtown. The screening is at 7 in the evening, and a producer, Jeffrey Mann, will be at this screening. You're listening to Tuesday Cafe. I'm Sean Canan.